The world is around data, of course. And based on that, it's impossible to imagine a new Java release if without any feature that make easier to work with data-oriented design. In this video, I will explain more two features and jabs to make easier our life to work with Java Record. Hello you, my name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel. This channel is for you who is a senior engineer, an architect, and want to achieve better results exploring more the open source knowledge and techniques. So subscribe and become even better software engineer. Okay, let's move on to the next step. Right now, what we're gonna do is to explore more the record features. That's basically two jabs. One is the jab number 440 and the 441. Okay? Um, let's imagine a scenario. I do have an, an, a user, okay, that has only a username for now, and then I do have two events. When, when I create, this user and another one is when I delete this user so let's start with this modeling so I come here I will create my user I will use records just to make it easier for me but you can use a regular class I will put only username just for simplicity and of course to make this video short as usual then I will create two events. So I will create the user created event. So it will be a record as well, where I will put the user and when this happened. When. And this one here will be a supplier of user so I take the user here and the second one I will use the power of copy paste here the user deleted this one here we have one more information that is the reason to leave so why you're leaving the system so three elements what we can do with the records features the first one is i can check the instance of this class and extract the elements to even create another information or for example to work with this data so I will create my class here, so I come here, record test. Then I will create my test, public void should get event, where I will define my test. I will create my user Otavio. Here, as you can see, the user is Otavio Java. Then I will have my supplier and I will have my user now. So what I can do, so imagine that I want to log this user. So I come here, I'll, I'll have my user here, and then I will log. So whatever I do have with supplier. So I have here my user, the supplier that I do have, and what can I do? I can check, for example, if this supplier or this event is instance of user created. Of course, you know that, okay, okay. supplier, you know that, right? So you can cast, cast automatically, but you can do even more. So you can create components of these fields. For example, here, 
I can define the user, user, and my instance, instance. This way, I can, for example, user created at with the username. So let's return the optional of my user so as you can see I'm working with my ops so it should come here up and then I can do the same check with supplier instance of user deleted with user user instant and the reason right and i can do a pretty similar thing here so user deleted at and finally the reason so because reason and then return and of course when i do not have i return empty so i do have my supply i will lock returning my lock user so i can here and what can i do I can do the assertions. Let's make easier. Otavio Java log get. So let's execute. And as you can see, okay, where are you log? The user created at with the username. So let's do pretty similar thing here so when I will delete you get event deleted so I come here and then no reason and then I will execute this one here so my user deleted at this moment with the username because no reason okay uh, you can also explore switch here so let's take for example here string uh, file event where I should do with my supplier But this time I will return a switch supplier and then case of course user deleted case user created Oops, deleted and created. So, and finally, I need to define my, my default. There is no event. So that is all for today. So basically what I did here, I cover Let's break here just to, to show what I did here. I return these events. I can explore instead of user, I can put var as you can see. And of course, I need to close. So this way here, as you can see, 
I can create a new event. Let's explore the power of copy paste. Sweet. Simple. Where? I will find an event. So. In this time, of course, what are gonna do to make it easier the lock? Of course, on production, be do a better job than that. So I will execute again. And that is all for today. In this video, I explore a little bit around the Java 21 where I cover just small details with the data in Java records where one I can extract using if instance of and remove these components inside my records as the, the sequence of if else or if I wish I can use switch as you can see here and of course instead of I can explore the var here as you can see that's all for today. Hopefully you will enjoy and of course give your comments, give your thoughts. And if the content is super value, valuable for you, subscribe in my channel.